Hi everyone and welcome to this pick a card reading. So we're going to do three readings looking at your love life predictions. So as you can see I've got some romance angels out here. Just one card for each spread and then we'll pull the rest on camera. So tune in and see which one speaks to you the most. You can always watch more than one if you wish. If one doesn't resonate, you could try another one. I'll put the timestamps below and I'll see you if you're reading. Welcome to reading one. So your card is engagement. It says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So this is potential for you in the future if you're not with someone or maybe you're with someone and this is what you're hoping for. So um, I'm feeling a shift happening for this pile. Higher level um, connection. I'm just getting some behind the scenes cards here as well. Okay. So a few different things. Um, a lot of you are on a spiritual journey. Um, that's why a lot of you watch these readings, obviously, but I feel that you've been through some karmic situations in the past. Some other people might have interfered in your love life. Um, this might have made some of you feel quite angry. It brought out some stuff that was part of your journey. I'm also getting another um, message here though that Um, some of you are very connected to a person and they could be in another connection here. Um, there's some anger and some other people that have interfered in that situation. So take what resonates because this is obviously general. Yeah, we've got someone here who definitely try to interfere in this potential love that's on the way for you. So whether it's, you know, that someone got in, in the way um, and enticed your person, they saw that you and this person were getting on and so they interfered. That's really what I'm getting here. There's definitely a lot of energies surrounding this connection. See, they're all trying to get in the way. Let's see potential future energy. Wow, yeah, we've got reconciliation. So that's clearly resonating with what I said, that um, for some of you, you know this, this person's in your heart you know that it's a high level commitment. Maybe you feel that you're gonna work things out with them. Wow. Okay, let's pull a bit of tarot. Yeah, so I feel that maybe you're spying on this person. You've definitely got a spy coming out in energy here. You're spying on them or someone's checking, this person could be checking up on you. Um, single energy here, I feel this is your energy. You've been single for a while. Maybe a bit unhappy not really seeing much happening in your love life. Um, you know, we've definitely got this third party 
coming out again. So future energy again, definitely got air coming out. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini could be your sign. Wow, we've got the Ace of Cups, yeah. A high level love here. Um, it's been a struggle for you both. You've really been stuck in your head about this person and this connection. I do feel it's destined. I do feel you've separated in order to heal and open up to this high level love. An end of a chapter is going to happen for you and you've got a new potential love here on the way. Okay, pile one, so short and sweet. Um, I really hope you got some messages there that might have resonated for you. Leave a message if so. Sending lots of love. Welcome to reading two. So your card is reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Maybe some of you feel that. You know that this connection it's not over, you feel them in your heart. Maybe you're connecting in dreams with this person. Um, just going to look behind the scenes to see what's going on around this connection. Yeah, I feel some of you are sort of waiting, hoping that something will shift in this connection. And um, we've got delay come through, so I feel this person needs to move on from a situation. Um, could be a relationship. They could have dark hair. There could be an age gap between you both. This person thinks about you. They could even be spying on you, you know, online, but they definitely think about you. Yeah, it's like they know that you're sincere. You, I'm also feeling you opened up to this person and they were quite immature. There's like a, a difference in your vibration in the past. They might have run, so you could be twin flames, you tried to open up, you tried to be honest, and they were closed off. Yeah, um, someone moved on, clearly. I feel it was this person. It was very inconsistent. They might have been in and out of your life, unsure about what they wanted. It's definitely coming through for that person. Okay, so let's see future energy. Wow. So you're being guided to persevere and be strong because you will receive a message from this person, a message of love. There is potential for a new beginning in love here. I just feel that you both need to open your hearts and heal things from the past. Yeah, because I'm getting a bit of a defensive energy, that's what I was feeling, um, coming through. This person might have some financial issues. That could be what holds them back. Or that could be you. Yeah, something around finances. Um, they might lose some money. I'm getting here. Um, I'm definitely getting an age gap as well. Earth and air 
coming out. It doesn't have to just be that. I could have that in my chart. So let's take some tarot then as well. Some of you have been single for a while. There's, there's no communication, I'm feeling, for a lot of you with this person. They ran, really feeling that. I'm getting guilt coming through as well that I'm channeling. Um, yeah, they might have deceived you. So there might have been a third party, but I just feel they weren't honest. I do feel that they walk away from a situation though, as I said, become single. Yeah, so we've got third party, but it's reversed. So that your person has not been happy in that situation, but they had to learn lessons in that situation. Okay, so future energy. Wow, okay, so this links with this card, which is that inconsistent energy, not of wands. So they may still be in that energy in the future. That could be why you're being told to persevere. A little bit flighty, still not quite matured getting, but it's better than a page. <laughs> it's a knight. Um, fire energy, so definitely someone who takes action though, which is positive. Okay. So it could go either way. I'm just feeling that they end a relationship that keeps coming out, or it could be a job. Um, some of you may not want this as well. You may end it. You may just be fed up with that player energy, if that's how they come to you. It's kind of like it goes either way here. And I feel for a lot of you, it's just closure. You know, you don't have to take someone back. But it's about just forgiving and releasing and moving on. So take what resonates here. It's very general. Yeah, death cards come out. So a transformation is possible. If you can persevere, you might need to wait a little bit. Um, but it is possible that you both transform and things could shift for you both here, if you're both in the same sort of vibration, which you're seeing in that first card. Okay, everyone, I'll leave it there. Short and sweet reading. I um, hope you got some clarity and insight from this reading. Leave a comment if so. Sending lots of love. Welcome to reading three. So your card is calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. So maybe some of you are doing this, you're visualizing being with your soulmate, whether you know them or not, doesn't matter. And some of you are being guided to do this, to imagine your person's here. So things like setting another place at your table, you know, if you, if you eat alone and live alone, imagining they're already there in your life and that's how you draw them in. Okay, let's have a look behind the scenes. Anything, any messages Spirit wants us to know? Yeah, some of you need to, to do these visualizations and affirmations because you're a bit anxious and in your head, um, a bit guarded as well. 
in your in your emotions, holding on to stuff from your past, which doesn't allow you to then manifest in this new connection. Yeah, you see, we've got divine timing coming out, um, which is your guidance. Things will happen at the right time. If you can persevere, we've got two nines here for like a culmination. So it's like you're coming to the end of a chapter for some of you where you've needed to heal. Wow, and you've, you've definitely got new love on the way. Ace of Cups, a message here that comes your way. Could be a gift that you receive. Wow, yeah, we've definitely got a message. Um, could actually physically be a card or letter, maybe around a birthday for some of you. And I'm just feeling that for some of you, this is after a long time of nothing happening, suddenly you get this, this divine gift. I do feel that it could be a high level commitment in the future, um, but Spirit's just guiding you here, reminding you to release anything that hasn't worked out from your past. I'm feeling that you and this person have both been through similar life experiences. Maybe you, you've both previously been married, things haven't worked out, that could be why you're a little bit guarded. Um, in terms of whether you want this but I feel that you both sort of help each other in a way so yeah it could feel a bit like a gamble to some of you um, in terms of whether you want to proceed let's say but you've got success coming out here, the reef for commitment. Um, we, we've now got a 10 for a completion. And some of you with the book, you're being guided to be, try and be open with this person. And I feel that they will with you. There'll be reciprocation. Okay, let's pull some tarot as well. This feels quite fast, so I feel that things could really speed up for some of you. Yeah, I'm getting that some of you in the past um, have definitely um, had a relationship or situationship, let's say, that didn't work out. And it was so that you could learn lessons and evolve, which I feel a lot of you have done. With a death card. Uh, some of you also might have been unstable. I mean, we can't just blame the other person, can we? I feel it was kind of you and a karmic partner, let's say, um, both had to teach each other something. And for some of you, it was just feeling uncertain, a bit anxious, maybe, not wanting to enter into any commitments maybe. Now this could be your, this person's energy coming through if it doesn't resonate for you. Let's see future energy. The fall, yeah, a new beginning. With this, after this transformation, starting again with a fresh outlook. It's really positive. Um, Scorpio and Aries have come out in particular. Um, fire and Earth as well, you might have in your chart. Yeah, I'm just feeling some of you have been single for quite some time. Not sure if I said that already. Um, you've sort of waited and during that time you've really grown spiritually. 
you see things differently because you've got a lot of major arcana here showing life lessons um, major turning points in your life so it's like an aha moment in terms of how to approach things differently that's why, why I keep hearing here yeah so it could be that you've been if we put this up right in this sort of lack mentality in the past feeling lonely feeling like nothing comes your way and when you turn that around and change your way of thinking that's when you manifest so it's all the law of attraction you know look it up you are what you believe Like I said before about imagining the person with you. Yeah, and then things changing. This, um, the Knight of Swords is the bring out of change. So you making changes and the divine bringing in this change, this person that rushes your way and is very honest and open with you. A new chapter in your love life with the world and the full, the last and the first major arcana. Wow, yeah, I'm just seeing things working out for a lot of you, being balanced, reciprocal, stable. Um, Libra is coming out here. Yeah, a lot of air now, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, for some of you, small percentage could be someone here who returns to clear the air with you, um, is open with you, but take what resonates there. Okay, so I'll leave it there. Very short and sweet reading. I hope it's given you some insight though on your journey. Thank you so much for being here. Sending peace, love and light to you all.